as far as people doing the program, we've we provided a lot of opportunities. And one of the opportunities that we felt really important is for everybody to do the program who wants to. And so the, from the beginnings of our writings, we have included a free McDougal program. And if you look at uh, some of our, our latest books, this is quite extensively detailed on how to do the McDougal program. It tells you the various steps, the laboratory tests, the questions you ought to be asking your doctor and what you might do extra, consider your problem. You have to work at it a little bit. It's on our website, but not very hard because there's a whole section called the free McDougal program. And so a lot of people do it at home. I know that. Because over the years, I'd say, you know, the bulk of the people that I talk to picked up on their own. But we provide more than that. And I want to talk to you about that in just a minute. If you're going to do it at home, you have to make contact with a private healthcare provider who's talented in, in, in food and in, in dietary therapy. That's hard to get. Well, okay, let's just say you'll find a competent general doctor that'll listen to you, work with you, maybe read some of our materials. So he or she knows how to take care of you because you're going to have to reduce your medications in a timely manner. So people who start with no medication, it's generally not any, any particular hazard at all. But those of you who are on a handful of blood pressure pills and diabetic pills and heart pills and etc., you need to have some type of counseling to take the medications away in a, in a reasonable way to reduce or stop the medications when when necessary. And you won't be able to, uh, you know, there's some of you who won't be able to stop or reduce your medications. Let's just face it from the beginning. But most of you will. In fact, we find that 90% of people, 90%, we publish this, of people are able to reduce or stop their medications, particularly when it comes to diabetic and blood pressure medication. So you, you should expect that as part of your program, but you need to have your physician monitor what's going on. I would check some basic lab tests. I think anybody starting this program ought to get a, a CBC, uh, a metabolic panel, they call it, which checks your liver and your kidney functions. You ought to get, if it's not included in the metabolic panel, you ought to get a lipid panel and see what your cholesterol and your triglycerides and your HDL and your LDL, et cetera, are. And uh, make sure that, as I said, you have kidney and liver function tests on there. The other test I'd encourage you get is a thyroid function test called a TSH. And you'll want to repeat these tests as you go along at, at important intervals. Like for example, if you're taking reducing your blood pressure medication, you'll want to check your blood pressure, you know, maybe daily, maybe every other day. You're uh, reducing your diabetic medications. Again, you know, once a day, maybe every couple of days, that's reasonable to check your blood sugar levels in the morning. What I discourage is people checking these numbers all day long. They're wasting their time. They're ruining their life. You, you get enough information a morning blood pressure or morning blood sugar for most people. There are a few exceptions, of course. Then after you get well and off your medications, how often do you check these things? Not very often, maybe annually, maybe less often than that. Because you're healthy, you, you've gotten rid of the problem. Your cholesterol will remain at a good level. Your blood pressure will remain at a good level in almost every case. So once you go through the initial phase, which by the way, takes just a few days. You know, we run five day, seven day, 10 day and 12 day programs. What we find ideal is to spend about 12 days focused on getting yourself well. Whether you're going to do it at home or you're going to do it with us. We run a 12-day program that's run by the internet these days. We have a medical consultation in the form of telemedicine, and we do all our education online. It's a very convenient, very relatively inexpensive way to run a program. So many of you might want to consider having us lend a helping hand because our doctors know when the right time to reduce medication is. We've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing this for approximately 36 years now, taking care of people with dietary therapy. And Dr. Lim has been doing it for eight years. We have the experience, but there are other doctors out there that should be able to manage your situation with no trouble at all. The other thing you need to note is that there are very few problems that come up when you reduce medication. There are far more problems that come up when you introduce medication, you cause people to take more medication. So the kind of practice that I do is uh, really one that usually gets a very positive return and not, not a lot of great concerns, like I know many of you suspect, when we manipulate with the drugs like we're going to do. 